Ron back from uh, Ron Brown's YouTube channel uh, where we cover uh, drones and, and other tech uh, gear, cameras and so on. But today is a drone video. And what I'm here to talk about is uh, specifically GeoZones and, uh, you know, specifically DJI uh, GeoZones. So um, let me uh, start this, you know, tail of woe off here. About a week, a little over a week ago, I was asked to do a job, uh, you know, of, of taking photos and videos, like, a, like kind of a real estate job. Not really. They weren't really trying to sell the place, but that, that doesn't mean, that's got nothing to do with the story. So anyhow, I was hired to take fo fo aerial photos and videos at a, like a summer campground down in South Jersey. So I, uh, you know, I, I checked the, uh, the maps. Uh, I used the Before You Fly app and various other maps. Uh, to make sure that the, this area was in, uh, you know, Class G airspace, and there were no flight restrictions of any, of any type before I went down there, and it was. I saw, but I did see on the map there were two small airports by there, but uh, no matter how much I moved the pin around on the map in, in this campground, it still said it Class G. So, um, you know, um, again, uh, not really, you know, using my full brain power here. I took two drones with me. I took, you know, the uh, DJI Mavic 3, and I took my new little, uh, my new little favorite mini drone, the, the DJI Mini 3 along, you know, charged, had battery charged, memory cards, you know, uh, reformatted, and, uh, you know, uh, propellers inspected and all that, so, you know, I was good to go. I got on location, you know, got the Mavic 3 out, uh, you know, rechecked that I was in Class G, rechecked that there were, um, you know, no uh, uh, t temporary flight restrictions at the time. And, uh, you know, I, I was, of course, I was permitted to fly in this location because <laughs> the owners had uh, hired me to uh, uh, film there. So it was business, you know, private property. Um, so anyhow, I go to take off and, uh, you know, I get the warning about I'm in a, G, a DJI um, geolocation. I thought, okay, well, that's because I am kind of near an airport. I to, maybe it might even restrict me to how high I can fly, which is no no big deal because I wasn't really planning on flying that high at all for the job I was uh, you being hired to do here. So um, it gave me the option to go in and unlock so I could take off in this geo zone. So, um, you know, I followed the instructions. Uh, you know, in, in the fly app, and went in to unlock, and it asked me to submit my uh, phone, either my phone number or email, and then they would, uh, you know, uh, either text me or email me right back with the six-digit code to unlock. So uh, when I did this procedure, I got a, I got a warning message that uh, I did it first with uh, my uh, phone number, so I get a text message, and I got a, re you know, a little uh, response back saying. Uh, you know, uh, we're busy right now. Try again later. So um, I gave it a few minutes, and then I used my email instead of my text, thinking, well, maybe that'll work better. Uh, same response. Uh, we're busy now. Uh, uh, you know, this is DJI saying, we're busy now. Uh, try again later. So um, I even got the Mini. I got another drone out. I think, well, maybe this is some kind of issue related just to the Mavic 3. So I get the um, Mini 3 out. Same thing, you know, same exact procedure. Uh, I go to unlock and, and I try my, both my, uh, you know, uh, phone number and email, both too busy. You try back later. So I, I had a, a friend of mine with me, another photographer, and she got her, we all, you know, again, this is the kind of the story here. We all had a bunch of DJI drones with us. So she gets her uh, thick Air 2S out. Same thing, you know, couldn't unlock or whatever. So, um, you know, what's a what's a drone photographer to do in a situation like that? And here is the solution: when when DJI uh, GeoZones keep you grounded so you can't work and and uh, you know make 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 your money, let you go get that paper. You go to the all reliable uh, Altel drones. Uh, here is the Altel Nano Plus, and here is the Evo 2 Pro drone, the 6K model, and uh, both, you know, both of these, um, you know, work perfectly. And, and let me continue my tale of woe here. So, of course, you know, uh, 
being a rookie that I was, I only brought DJI drones with me to the area. So um, I had to go back home. Actually, I waited till the next day because I, uh, uh, I, I didn't. I had something else going on. I couldn't make it back that day. So I uh, go home. You know, uh, get my Altel drones out, which I hadn't flown in a, in a little while. So I thought, well, let me get them out and get the batteries updated, get the firmware updated. Well, you know, you know, good old Altel here. Even though I hadn't flown them for a while, I, I start up and whatever, and there's no firmware updates to do it, whatever. You know, either one of them. They said just boot them up, no firmware updates, no nothing. So I just got the batteries all charged up. And uh, the next morning, I leave early, get on location, start the drones up. No, no, you know, again, checked again, you know, make sure Class G, no temporary, no temporary flight restrictions there. Boot the drones up, and voila, no problem at all. Uh, they take off. They don't give me any warnings about any geo zones. Um, I use both of them. I used this for kind of the higher shots of the kind of the campy of trees. There was a couple of shots they wanted that were kind of, I had to get under the tree line again. So I used the small guy here to uh, get some of that work done. So again, I'll tell, you know, save my bacon that day or whatever. Uh, with, with DJI, I would have, you know, I wouldn't have been able to get the job done. Um, again, I, I don't know what the deal was with not being able to unlock, but it, it doesn't matter what the deal was. It doesn't matter if the, you know, uh, well, actually, here's here's another follow up story I didn't tell you. So the next day, I still take the Mavic Three back with me, and I try it again. And it's still, uh, when I tried to unlock the Geo Zone, it says, uh, you know, busy, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, too busy now. I'll try again later. And it wasn't because of lack of Wi-Fi, because my, on my phone, um, you know, I had a, I had a, you know, a five G signal there. I was able to, you know. Um, hit websites, uh, you know, uh, download apps and whatever. So I, I had enough internet to unlock that. That wasn't the issue. Internet was not the issue at this location. It was just, uh, again, I, I don't know why, but uh, again, it doesn't matter why because I need to do the shot. I need to do the shots then. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter if DJI figured this out the next week or the next month or, or even three days later. I need it to work then. I, I don't need it to work, you know, uh, on their schedule. I need to work on my schedule. So uh, for now on, here's the lesson here. I'm never going on another um, professional uh, uh, drone assignment again without an, an Altel drone in my bag because, um, you know, uh, as long as you're, you know, able to, you know, legally fly in that area according to the FAA, these drones will get up in the air and get the job done with, you know, the DJI drones. Um, you know, even if you're in a legal to fly area, you still may not get it off the ground. So again, this is no knock on DJI. I mean, I, one of those people, you know, I'm lucky, you know, I, I live in an area that's not, not geo fence whatsoever. I could fly whenever I want, you know, where I live here at, at the Jersey shore. But, uh, you know, in this case, uh, the geofencing, you know, got the got the best of me, and I know it's going to be a lot of people out there. I, I've heard from many of you over the years about the geofencing. Uh, you don't think it's fair. You don't think it's right, and uh, you know, it, it certainly got to me today. Um, you know, I I, um, I don't I don't know what to say. You know, uh, beyond that, uh, again, I know it's a big sticking point. I know why that's a lot. Why a lot of people get all tell. I uh, love all tell and uh, you know and these drones are perfectly capable of getting the job done on site you know I mean here I hear so many people talk about ah you know they don't they don't fly like a DJI drone and and, and you know uh, things to that uh, you know that measure there and uh, I mean I, I, I you know I don't get I don't get all that especially for a, uh, a photography job like this I mean I, I don't you know, I'm not flying FPV drone here. I don't need it to go through, you know, uh, gates at, at 100 miles per hour. Uh, you know, I mean, put this way. When I'm flying these drones, you know, when I when I want it to go forward, it goes forward. You know, when I push stick back, it goes back. It, it goes, you know, it, it goes right. It goes left. It push stick up, it goes up. I mean, I, I don't get the not flying right. I mean, it, it takes the stick commands properly. I mean, it, it uh, you know... The GPS it locks in good. The drone whole study in the air. Um, you know it. Uh, take you know the, the videos. You know not all wavy. The gimbals do do a good job. I I just don't get that constant thing that they don't f fly right or whatever. And I know that this guy here, he has you know um, 
uh, you know, all the things where you can adjust the drone on your own, the expo settings, and uh, you can, you know, control the gimbals and, and the rates, whatever. This guy is very customizable, uh, you know, so, uh, I mean, maybe some people don't like to get in there and fool around with the customization settings, but you can't, I can't blame the drone because you don't want to get in there and customize the settings to get the fly to your, your liking. You know, I, I'm not sure if uh the the nano has the same level of um customizing the 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 flight controls as this one does but uh i mean this guy this guy flies you know i mean flies really good to me i mean it's not the best in the wind you know if you're flying this to a stiff headwind it's going to go slow i've even seen it stop moving at some points or whatever so uh, i mean um you know, this guy's a little underpowered, uh, you know, in, in my personal opinion. I mean, if you live in an area where it's not very windy, I mean, you probably have a different opinion. But I live at the Jersey Shore where it's, it's gusty windy. So it's, it's it, to me, it's a little, a little underpowered. And, when, and I will get both these drones. Um, the Altel drones I have sitting here are not as good as my premier dji drones in the wind i mean the mavic 3 is a beast in the wind and the air 2s especially for a size is a beast in the wind and neither one of these fly in the wind as good as um uh, those drones but again as far as what i need to do for this shoot or whatever i mean they they, they flew perfectly fine so anyhow i i don't want to go down that uh you know, I don't want them to turn this big cut because I know a million people are going to say, oh, yeah, you know, they're flying a DJI. And, and if you've only ever flown a DJI and now all of a sudden you get an Altel drone, of course you're going to think it's not flies as good because you're used to flying one type of drone all the time. But if you if you started with these guys, um, yeah, I, I don't know. Anyhow, they fly perfectly well to do, do a real estate uh, a job or whatever, you know. So, anyhow, um, that's it. I'll get off my high horse, my rant here about, uh, you know, the, the, the geo zones. But uh, do remember, if you're, um, you know, if you're a, 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 you know, real estate professional photographer, whatever, just, you know, professional pho pho yeah, photographer in, in, in any nature, and drones are part of your business, Remember, um, you know, you may have to do some work sometime in a geo zone, and you may not get that DJI unlocked. So it's a good idea to have one of these guys get in, in, in your camera bag. So that's it. Hope you got something out of this video today. And if you did, give me the thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And uh, ring that bell notification so that you'll know when I put a new uh, drone video up. Uh, I'm doing a lot of work here recently with the uh, Mini 3 Pro, the newest drone from DJI, but I still want to cover other drones here at my Altels, my Mavic 3. Uh, I'm still flying the Mini 2 also, so I want to give coverage to the other drones too as much as I can. And don't forget to have that thanks button now uh, right there near the, you know, the, the like button and the share button. And, and that's the way you can contribute to the channel a little bit. You can contribute as little as $1.99 and uh whatever you know uh however you decide to thank me there i'm going to put it right back in the channel and buy a new accessories review i mean we're going to take a whole bunch of dollar 99s to buy a drone but it will you know uh, a few of them will help me buy accessories like you know uh cases to review um uh you know things like nd fillers review um uh, uh, lanyards, uh, propeller straps, a lot, a lot of little things that uh, people want to see reviews on. That, and that money will help me to uh, bring them in and get them reviewed here on the channel. So, okay, folks, that's going to be it today. And uh, get out there and fly an all-tail drone if you got one. See you in the next one.